In this video, I will explain my text installation, TextLab installation and how to use TextLab. My text installation. My text is the version of LaTeX for Microsoft Windows. It consists of a set of tools to process text. Use an internet browser to open the following URL. Click on All Downloads. Click on Net Installer. If you have a 64 bits computer, select the 64 bits version. If you don't know, select the 32 bits version. Click on Download. Save and run the setup program. Accept the copying conditions, then click Next. Select Download MyTex, then click Next. Select Complete MyTex, then click Next. Choose a download source. When ready, click Next. Select a location to store MyTex, then click Next. Review the settings, then click the Start button. After downloading the setup files, open the location where MyTex was saved and double-click the setup file. When the installation completes, use Windows Explorer to check that MyTex files were installed. TextLab Installation TextLab is a software used to simplify the creation and manipulation of latex documents. TextLab divides the document in small pieces that can be managed individually, helping the user to focus on just a single part of the document at a time. Use an internet browser to open the following URL. Click the download link for the latest version of TextLab. Save and run TextLab.msi. If you get any warnings about TextLab MSI making changes in your computer, be sure to accept the installation. Click the Start button on the left bottom corner of the screen, then search for TextLab. How to create a TextLab document. Click the Start button on the left bottom corner of the screen, then search TextLab. Click the TextLab icon to open it. From the toolbar, click the New button. The Templates dialog will open. Select the Article Template. Provide a name and a location. Avoid the use of special characters in the project location and the project name. Select the desired language. Be sure to select the language because there is no way to change it later. Click the OK button when ready. TextLab will create a folder to store the files of your document. A new article document is shown. TextLab has three main panels. The Content Panel, the Dictionary Panel, and the Preview Panel. If you don't see the document in the Preview Panel, click the My Text Setup button. You can use the Installation Test buttons to find and fix the problem. Click the View Logs button to find and correct LaTeX problems. How to write equations using LaTeX? LaTeX has two modes. The Math mode. You can use this mode for equations. The Text mode. You can use this mode for text. You can use the dollar sign to activate the Math mode. You can use two dollar signs to activate the math mode for equations. The main difference is that in this case the equation will be shown in a single line. 
spend some time taking a look to the following online tutorials to know more about latex and equations. To insert an equation, you can choose and edit an equation from the equation templates. Insert a new equation. Insert an align environment to insert an insert of equation. To insert a symbol, click on the symbol in Math Moth button. Click the equation templates icon to insert a template. How to edit a text lab document? Click on Document Setup to inspect the latex code. Double click on Document Setup to set the properties of the document. You can click any part of the document to edit it. Right click the content panel to open the context menu. Use the Look It Up in Dictionary option from the context menu to use the online dictionaries. Double click a misspelled word to obtain suggestions. You may click on Edit with Microsoft Word to edit any part of the document. To give format to some text, click the bold, italics, underline font size and color button. You can add a new node using the insert button in the toolbar. You can add a text node to include any type of latex environment that is not supported by TextLab. How to insert tables and figures? To insert a table, use the table button. The table wizard will help you create the table. The table wizard will create the respective latex code for the table. You can copy data from Microsoft Excel to create a table in TextLab. Bitmaps A bitmap is an image that stores the values of each pixel in an image. Bitmaps have a fixed resolution. Use a bitmap only for photographs. To insert a bitmap in LaTeX, you need to export the image to EPS. Vector Graphics a vector graphics image is a graphic that is stored as a sequence of commands to describe the image, such as EPS, SVG, CDR, or EMF. Vector graphics are perfect for diagrams, schematics, or engineering figures. You can create a vector graphics image using CorelDRAW, Adobe Illustrator, AutoCAD, or Inkscape. To insert a figure, use the Figure button from the toolbar. You can paste an image directly in the document. How to manage cross-references the cross-reference mechanism allows making a reference to sections, figures, equations, tables, computer programs, etc. References example, reference to a table, and reference to a publication. You must set a label or tag to each node in your document so that you can make a reference to the node. Use the Insert Reference button to insert a reference to a section, figure, equation, etc. in the document. There are two methods to manage the list of references. The Bibliography. This method includes the bibliography in the document. 
Bibliography. This method uses an external database bibliography file. Use the Insert Site button to cite a book, an article, etc. Any document includes the bibliography note. If you want to use a BIP database file, you need to delete the bibliography note. When the user clicks the Insert Site button, when a document does not have the bibliography note, it will prompt to create or open a BIP database file. You can add a bibliography note by using the Insert button in the toolbar. You can insert a site from the BIP database. You can edit, delete, search or add items to the database.